Yes, he's been doing a wonderful job for the last two days. And his team. Thank you, Prince. Friends, today I'm going to talk about what the future of industrial kitchens is going to be. So I'm no one to uh, predict and tell you what the future is going to be. But yes, keeping uh, the trends in mind, what's moving in the industry today, I will be making my suggestions that what could be the trends that we foresee would be the future of the industrial kitchens. First, I will be touching a few points uh, from what is already being practiced, what has started and which could be the trend for sure in the coming days. And then we will get into some predictions that I will be making which possibly could happen and could not happen too. So, uh, next slide please. Traditional kitchens and uh, QSRs and restaurants and so on. Next slide please. Right. So now the first line that I have shown you uh, basically is on uh, automated dish washing. So uh, automated dish washing is something that is already common in today's uh, IT kitchens and industrial kitchens. Here what happens is when you do an automated dish washing setup, you not only uh, you know save on time, you save on manpower. So if you see the conveyor system that is kept outside, we've used this in uh, a few projects of ours, where uh, you, the uh, person who's dining clears his plate, puts it down, puts, he has a separate uh, you know, conveyor belt for the plates, for the bowls, and you have a magnetic strip tray for the cutlery to go on. So here what happens is, you not only save time and money, but also you save on manpower. Manpower is again getting little tight, in the days to come as you can see it's made so washing happens washing of your thing happens get grinding gets down and then you can have the idli dropper which uh, puts idlis in your uh, tray and then that gets into the steamer similarly uh, you have vada making machines so, so there is so much of development that's happening it is not only a bot doesn't have to look like a robot that i've shown you but a bot would be a bot which will simplify your cooking process standardize your recipe ensure that your efficiency is better also ensure that your product line according to the desired quantity that you need comes into play 3d food print uh, food printers so now this looks very uh, you know out of place when you generally think about a 3d food printer but then slowly the 3d food printer is catching up great value here what happens is, uh, if you look at a 3D food printer and you start considering it from farm to the table, so we say farm to the plate, then yes, 3D food printer will have its own value. So in this what is happening is, this is in a very minuscule stage where a lot of people are working on the product line, but yes, it helps us have consistent nutrient content and flavor that the customer exactly demands on. So this is something that would also catch up in the days to come because you are able to reciprocate something from the farm which comes on to your table. Further please, almost, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Vishwanath Anand signed off for a brief moment. Once he comes down, you can marble. <laughs>